What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to integrate an API so we can persist our to-dos. Now in my view series, we built an API in Laravel so we can make use of that. Check out that video if you want to see how we built that. I eventually extended that API to support authentication and users, but I've reverted a few commits back. So it's just basic CRUD functionality. So here it is running in our REST client. You can retrieve the to-dos. And these two are in my database. If you want to see, here it is. And you can add a to-do, another to-do, and we can add that. And there it is right there. We can update. So we can update the first one to changed. And there it is. And so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and integrate this into our React application. Let's go ahead and go into our app.js and let's make a new method here. This is right after the render function. Or you can put it above if you want. And let's make one for component did mount, which is a life cycle, life cycle hook. And let's just call a method, which we'll make in a second on the store we made. If you're not using state management, you can just go ahead and make an Ajax call from here. So we'll call it retrieve to do's because that's what we named it in our view series. Okay, and let's go ahead and make an action here. Let's call it retrieve to do. So wherever our actions are right here. Actually, let me just copy this and we'll make use of that. So retrieve to do's and it doesn't take any parameters. And let's just console log something getting to do's from API. And if you look in here, you can see there's the message we get. Okay, so I'm going to be using Axios for our HTTP library. So let's go ahead and install that npm install Axios. And we can go ahead and import this up here import Axios from Axios. And let's also set a base URL for our API. So axios.defaults base URL equals. So this is just running on my local machine test slash API. Okay. Now let's see if we can just console log the APIs from our database. So back here, let's just make use of Axios. So Axios dot get slash to do's dot then response and dot catch error. Let's just console log the error. And let's console log the response dot data. And let's see if that works. Okay, you see we have three in here. And this corresponds to our API slash database. Cool. Now let's go ahead and get these to do's into our application. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clear out this. We don't need this anymore. And we have to do one extra step because we're using mob X here. So when you're setting state from an asynchronous action, which is what we're doing, we have to wrap our code in a run in action method. 
So let me just import a few more things here from MobX. So configure and run in action. And right here, I'm just gonna sort of set it to strict mode. So MobX will tell us if we're incorrectly setting state outside of an action. So let's do enforce actions true. And down here, all we have to do is wrap our code in a run in action method. So like this, run in action, and it takes in a callback. And this is where we set our state. So this dot to do's is response dot data. There's actually a few ways to do this. I will link a video below where Lee Halliday explains other ways you can do this. For example, if you want, you can use the async await syntax. But we'll just stick to this and let's see if we get our to-dos from our API. And there they are, awesome. Now, I'd like to point out a bug that was introduced. Uh, we can't actually edit our to-dos anymore. That's because there's no editing field when the to-dos come back from the API. So if I just console log this again to show you what I mean, here, the, here are the to-dos, but you can see there's no editing field here because that's local to us. So let's go ahead and add that in right before we set our state. So and do let temp to-dos equals response.data. I'm just going to iterate over them using for each. And for each to-do, let's just set to-do.editing equals false. And we'll set this to-dos to temp to-dos. And that should fix it. So if we console log temp to-dos, then you'll, you'll see that it now has that editing field and we should be able to edit. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and work on adding to-dos. So I'm just gonna move this up so it's close to up here where the rest of our functions are. So I'll put this first. And now we'll work on add to do. Okay, so we no longer need this ID for to do since the ID is now going to be coming from our database. So let me just erase that. We don't need this anymore. Let me just get rid of it. And this is where we're setting our state. So this is should where we should be calling our Ajax call. So let me just grab this and let's make an Ajax call right here, except it's post. The endpoint is still to do's, but we have to pass in some data. So that data is the title is right here, the to do input. So to do input and completed is false. And this is from our retrieve to do's, we don't need that. And this is where we set our state. Get rid of that and we put this in there. And the ID is now coming from the response we get back, so response response.data.id and the title is also coming back from our response title completed is false editing is false and that looks good so let's see if this works adding okay looks like it worked Let's check our 
we can check our database or we can check in here and there it is cool and our id is correctly set as well okay now let's work on checking to do's so let's go down to check to do's right here and actually let me grab this axios call right here and check to do we need to wrap this in our run in action let me just format that and it is a patch request the url is to do's slash to do dot id the title is to do dot title and completed is not to do dot completed and let's go ahead and get rid of this and let me just grab this and put that in there and that should work let me just format this okay so let me uncheck this okay let's check the complete is one it should be zero awesome let's check it again cool it works let's try the other ones awesome okay now let's work on editing to do's so for this one this is all local so we don't have to change this because it's just setting the editing property and that's just local to our our, our application so that's fine but let's go ahead and work on this done edit function. So these two lines are what we have to put in the run in action method. So let me just grab that. It's the same endpoint. I'm just gonna grab this. Wait, that's the end, right? Yeah, that's the end. Copy. And right here let's put this back to to do dot completed and remove this and put that in there that should work okay let's see okay didn't refresh changed again okay did that work it didn't work not sure why that's not working let me refresh again changed again okay okay so it works not sure why it didn't work that first time and we're good uh, the cancel edit is local to our application so we can just leave that let's go ahead and work on deleting to do's so similar to posting so i'm just going to grab this one so delete to do and yeah we just have to wrap these two lines in that run in action method so it's axios delete The endpoint is to do's plus to do plus ID. Yeah, the ID is coming in. So just do that. We don't need these things coming in. And this stuff we can replace with this. And we should be good. Let's give it a test. Let's remove this one. Refresh. And it stays deleted. Awesome. And if you want to double check, this should be gone. Cool. Okay, now let's work on this clear completed. So I'm just going to grab this Axios call because it's pretty much almost the same 
Just go down to clear completed right here. And let me just paste it in. The endpoint is to do's clear. No, it's delete completed. And there's no ID. But we do have to pass in a body. So we have to, for delete request, you have to send in a body like this for some reason. And we want to send an array of to do's with the IDs that we want to delete. And we'll make this completed array in a second. So for example, if we wanted to erase IDs one and two, we'll pass in an array like this. So let's go ahead and make this. Actually, let me just grab this and put this in this run in action first. So for this array, all we have to do is just make one called completed and it's going to take in the to do's and I'm going to filter them. So I'll take in a to do and I just want the ones that are checked. So to do completed. And then I'm going to map over them and I just want their IDs. So that should do it. If you want, you can put them on their own lines like this. Dot should be here actually. And that should do it. See if that works. Okay. These two are checked already see if that works and it does cool if you want to double check these should be gone and they are okay now let's work on the check all feature so where's my check all right here and it's going to grab another axios call And this one, the endpoint is to do check all. There's no ID. And we need to pass in one thing, and that is the event dot target dot checked. But we have to persist that event up here to use it. And in here, I'm just going to grab this and put that in there. Uh, when I did this before, for some reason, I needed to do it out here too, or it didn't check it. Let's see if that's correct. Let me just add a few. And yeah, I think this, it won't check it locally, but it will actually successfully called the Ajax call. So if I check it, see, I checked it, but if I refresh, yeah, I did check it. So I think I have to add this to make it work. Not sure why, but that's okay. Let's try it again. So they're all checked. They're all unchecked and they remain, remain unchecked. So let's try again. Let's check the database. So these should all be one now. They are and uncheck and they all should be zero. Cool. And does it still work where it's responsive? Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. So there you have it guys. We've managed to integrate the same Laravel API we built in our view series into our react application. Please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.